Hi, this is Manish Pandey. In the previous video, you have seen that how previously aspired elements not working and then how we fix that issue. We were working on this, this application modeler. We created this UI demo automations and then we aspired the elements of UI demo application. Now let's go to action. I'm going to type username and password and click on login button so that we can log into that application. So to type the username and password, we need to use this right stage. Just double click on this one. And then here we have value and then element. So in this one, we need to pass the value which we want to write. And this is the element. And right side you can see so these are the, the spied elements that we did in the application modeler. So you can see application explorer. So just drag this username text box and just drop here in the element. Now click on add. Take this password text box and drag and drop here. Okay, now we have two text boxes. One element for this username and second is for password. Let me click on launch first so that I can show you that application. Okay, change the name. Type username and password. Now in this text box value, we need to enter that username. So the username is admin. So first I'm going to pass a hard, hard coded value. And then here in the text box, password text box, we need to type here the password. That is the password of this, this application. Now click on OK. OK, now we need to click on this login button. So to click on this button, we need to take this navigate. Double click on this navigate. Now, left side you can see that spider elements. Click on this login button elements that we created and then just drag and drop to this element section here. Now, you can see action. We have list of actions available here. We need to click on press. So it will press on this login button. Press login. Click OK. Now we need to use this link stage, this link tool to link this tool here. Okay. Now reset and refresh this one. We have already launched here. So that's why we are getting detach. If you close this one, so it will ask you to launch that because without launching, you will not able to type anything or not able to do anything on that. So first launch that. Otherwise you have to run that process so that it can launch that here and then it can type. So currently I'm going to just show you this one, like how it will work. Now right click on this and click on set next stage. And I am going to click on this debugging a step that is a step just to see it is typing the value correctly or not. So you can see uh, we are getting this error failed to perform a step one in the right stage. Type username and password on page X and one value does not fall within the expected range. Why it is not working? So there are some issue with this one. Let me show you what we need to do to resolve this issue. We have to change the spy mode because it's not working for this username and password. So first click on this application modeler because we are going to change the spy mode and then click on launch. So it will launch that as that windows application. Now let's we have this username and password text box that is highlighting correctly, but it's not working. So it's highlighting correctly. It doesn't mean that it will work fine, right? Sometime it is highlighting, but while typing the data to that, that specific element, it will not work. So how can we fix that? So for this username text box, click on that and then click on identify. Now click yes. Now you can see. We will not able to use win32 mode here because it's not highlighting this username. Press alt key and then you can see this UI automation mode is not working for this one. Only we have this active accessibility mode, but that is also not working while typing the username and password. Now we have this region mode. So we are not going to use this region mode for now. I need to change that to the UI automation mode and how can we use this? UI automation mode if that is not highlighting here. So let me show you. So let's cancel this one. So control and right click. Now click on this username te text box. Click on this identify 
this drop down and click on open UI automation navigator click yes okay now you can see we here we have a list of elements this is for title bar this is for system menu this is system menu item this is maximize this is minimize this is close button this is username text this text the label this is password text this is for this text box for username this is for password this is for login text this is for login button this is for invalid login message that we get after if we enter some invalid data invalid credential so you will you will get message like here okay so we need to change this for username and password so first we'll click on this edit and right side you can see all the attributes and its values so here you can find we have this path user here also we have a class name that is text box automation id that is user okay so this one is showing correctly just click on ok it will take this one now click on this match uncheck these attributes where the value is blank now we we have control type edit this one automation id is user and then anything else okay so we have this text box you can take this also we have this parent ui name that is ui demo we can take this one okay so now we have use here four attributes with this value and now click on highlight okay so it's able to highlight that now click on password text box same way open this ui automation navigator and this is for password text box here we have a class name password text box and um, this is for edit and this automation id is pass so click on ok now uncheck these all the attributes name where the value is blank now this is the edit and this is the pass okay this password text box name is pass and then just scroll down and just take here password box okay now just take this one also ui demo now click on highlight and you can see it's highlighting fine now click on apply click on ok ok now just double click on this right stage and you can see this has been already applied because we are not deleted this one we just you know updated the same element so username is here password is here admin and then password ok now just reset and refresh right click set next stage and this is already attached here so no need to launch this again now click on this is step 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 and then you can see here admin and password so this right stage worked fine and now we're going to click on press login and this worked fine here right in this video you learned how to use ui automation navigator